Hi, Pre-K. Welcome to the art room. We're going to be talking all about lines today. Lines is a very important element of art. It's how we draw. When we talk about lines, sometimes we talk about like what direction they're in. For example, when a line goes up and down, we call it a vertical line. And we need to be able to make vertical lines. For example, if we made a flower, right? And we also call lines that go from side to side horizontal lines. And we need to know about horizontal lines in case we wanted to draw a sun rising. And there's diagonal lines. Those are lines that go at an angle. What could I make out of that? Let's see. Maybe I'll make a slide on the playground. All right. So we have a vertical line that goes up and down. Horizontal line goes from side to side. And a horizontal and vertical and diagonal. Horizontal, vertical, diagonal. All right. Now that we have that straight. Also, what would happen if a line did this? It's still a line, but what is its direction? Lines don't always have to be vertical, horizontal, or diagonal. I like to say a line is a dot that went for a walk. That's a wavy line. What if our dot that went for a walk made a zigzag line. What if our dot that went for a walk did a loop-de-loop? -loop? Yay! Sometimes dots can be, we call this a broken line because it has breaks all the way through it, or a dotted line would have dots. What else could we do? How about a line that looks like the ocean? That's a good line. Hmm, can you guys think of any good lines? I bet you can. We're gonna be doing a project today with our lines. Let's get a fresh sheet of paper. I'm just going to get a piece of printer paper here. And I'm going to grab some crayons. I love, these are my favorite crayons. I'm not even sure where I got them. I'm going to start just with a black crayon. And I am going to think of some lines that to draw on my paper. And I'm going to go from one side all the way to the other. And so I'm going to start out, you know, I'm just going to do a straight line. I'm going to press and go all the way over. Can you do that? What about a wavy line? All the way from one side to the other? I'm pressing hard. That's a wavy line. I liked that loop-de-loop. -loop. Let's do one of those. My hand is getting strong. I'm pressing hard. Let's do some dot-to-dots. Dashes. I guess, broken line. And how about some zigzag? They remind me of mountains. There. How about this line? You do anything you want. Think of some creative line. Could it be like looking like lightning? Or 
or maybe it looks like a castle. Maybe I'll do the castle. I call this a castle. Looks like teeth there. Once you have all your lines on your paper, I want you to take your crayons and I want you to color starting at the top here. Maybe I'll turn it to the side and I want you to color each side a different color. Okay, I want to see your best coloring. color a little bit with you. I like to color in one direction. Do you see a lot of white showing? I hope not. We want to do our best coloring. What color should I choose next? I think I'm going to do... How about red? I can find it. Here's a red. Oh, I think that's orange. Here's red. That red looks nice next to that blue. Staying in the lines. Doing my best coloring. I think I'm running out of crayon. What I love about these crayons is you never have to peel the paper because you just take the end and twist it and it gives you a whole new crayon. All right, when you're done with your art, you can Finish it. Let's see here. When you're all done, maybe it will look like this. This is one I finished. And you know what I was thinking? If you took your finished paper like this, and if we drew, if we took a pencil and we drew a shape of an egg. Wouldn't it be fun to cut that out? I think I'll do it. And then it would be like an Easter decoration. All right, where's my scissors? This is good for practicing your cutting skills. Cutting out an Easter egg. What do you think? That looks like a very fun Easter egg. Well, I hope you all have fun drawing your lines. When you're done, take a picture and send it to my email. See you next week, pre-K.